Hello viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I would want to consider ways on how to make poetry simpler, how to demystify poetry. In my teaching career, I have realized that most students find analyzing a poem a tall order. They see it as a Herculean task, an impossible endeavor. Are you one of such students? This video is just for you. I have realized that most students feel that the word poetry is something that should now be left for extraordinary students. As a teacher of English, I strongly and 100% believe that poetry can be tackled by any and every student. This is how to make poetry analysis simpler. Viewers, thank you very much for the support you've always given me, for the subscriptions, the likes, and any way that you've been involved in this channel. Again, those who are watching us for the first time, allow me to request you to hit onto that subscribe button so that anytime we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. I tell students to consider or to view a poem as a story. Most of us love stories, or maybe all of us love stories, right? Yeah. So I tend to ask students to view poetry as the story that most of us love. And by the way, there are striking similarities between a poem and a story. Number one, a poem is structured in stanzas. The same way a story is also structured in paragraphs. A story's paragraph has sentences. In a poem, it is lines that make up a stanza. Again, words form a paragraph, I mean a sentence in a story, just the same way words form a line in a poem. In both poem and stories, there are various ways that the words, the sentences, the lines, the stanzas, and paragraphs. There is a way that the words there are interwoven in a way that they form specific style of writing. And that is present in both a story and a poem. In both the story and the poem, there is a clear-cut message that the writer would want to convey. And that is what we call the thematic concern. So, those are just examples of striking similarities about the structure of a poem and that of a story. Now, because all of us love listening to stories, love telling stories, I would want us to not consider or view poem 
as a poem because the word has become mysterious to most students. I want us to now have the word a poem when we meet a poem for analysis. Let us just have the word at the back of our minds. But then let us know that we are interacting with a story because truly it is a story. When you view poetry in this angle, then you are given a poem to analyze. Let's say it has three stanzas. Then you will have your story there. So maybe in stanza one, you will consider it as a paragraph. And in considering it as a paragraph, you will look at the line and the name that you're going to give that line is your sentence one. And you will realize that the words that are used in that your sentence are just common English words. There could be rare vocabularies but then you can look at the context and find their meanings from the context with which they're used. Line by line, then you summarize a stanza, what we now call a paragraph because a poem is a story. And you write one line paraphrase of that paragraph besides the stanza. Then you move to stanza two, stanza three, four, whatever stanzas that they are. Then at the end of the day, if you are asked what the poem is about, then you just join together the one line paraphrase sentences and you have there what the poem is about. And just like we normally identify aspects of style, we look at the words, we look at the sentences of our story, and then we come up with the various styles of language that have been used. Then just the same way a story convey a given message, that is how we arrive at the themes in our poem, which we now refer to as a story. And the other elements of a poem that are similar to a story will just come up, like the plot, what is going on in that story. So viewers, I have seen this work to teachers of English when we go to class. Let us not tell the students that we are not now going to analyze poetry. Tell them that it is time to now enjoy story, story time, story, story. Poems are stories. And we love stories, so we love poems.